Hi, Mike Harris here, and I'm down today at Foresight Sports HQ in Guildford in Surrey, testing out the new TaylorMade M2 driver. Now, M2 first came into the market in early 2016, been a phenomenally successful club, both for club golfers and also on tour as well. And that's whether that's with the TaylorMade tour staff or more recently, more recent months, the likes of Rory McIlroy, Tiger Woods, number of the other Nike uh, former contracted players switching into TaylorMade for the last few events of the season. That's an incredible bit of uh, PR for TaylorMade there, non-contracted guys, particularly like Rory and Tiger playing the product. So how do you improve upon as successful a product as M2 has been? Well, TaylorMade introducing a new M2. It's not a different name at all, slightly different uh, graphics on the sole, slightly different look uh, at a dress on the crown, slightly different combination of the, uh, of the white leading edge uh, and the multi-material crown. But really it's all about the performance benefits that TaylorMade have been tweaking. And really we're talking about relatively small tweaks. The engineers have to be very clever in what they do to make drivers go further and actually more realistically are more forgiving. And I think that's key technology uh, in the latest drivers that are out in the market, more forgiveness. What TaylorMade have done with the new M2 is they've made the speed pocket there in the sole three times more flexible than the 2016 M2. And then what the really interesting technology on the new M2 is what they call geoacoustic. Uh, and it's a lot of work on the internal um, bits of the head to really make the sound really good. Uh, and also part of that as well is this sort of lowered sole, which you can see it sort of drops in there, got a little cavity there. What that does is that frees up some CC in the head. Of course, drivers can only be 460 CC under the rules of golf. So got to work within those parameters. But by dropping the sole there, that's allowed the engineers to increase the footprint of the head by 7%. So when you put it down behind the ball, it looks a bit bigger and it is a bit bigger. And that again should help aid with forgiveness. So I've been testing uh, the driver on the GC2 launch monitor with the HMT technology as well. It's been really interesting. I've been fitted for a lot of drivers uh, over the last 10 years, so I'm not gonna get huge benefits uh, out of modern technology because I've always been well fitted for previous drivers of whatever brand they're from. So I'm not seeing huge jumps in, uh, in yardage, but what I definitely saw today with M2, and I tested it against the outgoing M2, is that the forgiveness levels are absolutely fantastic. Great thing about using HMT, one of the Foresight technologies, is you see where you're hitting the ball on the face. And believe you me, I'm hitting the ball right across the face and I'm not really seeing a big drop off in either ball speed or total distance, uh, carry yardage as well. So as I say, I think the key thing about modern technology and particularly for the M2 is the amount of forgiveness on offer. As I say, versus the old M2, Pretty similar numbers in terms of uh, dispersion, in terms of uh, carry and total distance. Um, what was interesting is I did test the new M1, uh, which features a lot of adjustability in the T-track. You're able to move the center of gravity or weight closer to the face to bring uh, help that sort of lower CG. And certainly for me, I put a lot of spin on my driver. I can get it up four, four and a half thousand revs easily. Um, M1 for me really allowed me to bring the spin down and then also I hit a natural cut, moving the weight into the draw setting. I was probably hitting, hitting the ball 10 yards further in the air, maybe 15 yards total carry because I could really dial in those spin characteristics. I think it's crucial with M2 that you go and get a fitting. It's probably seen as you know less technical than the M1, but that doesn't mean you don't need a fitting. Remember that there are 30 different aftermarket shafts at no upcharge that you can get if you go and get custom fitted. So whilst well, there's a really good selection of shafts available just off the shelf, you would really be mad uh, to not go and get a fitting. Remember, these are expensive clubs. I think the RRP on M2 is going to be £369. So that's a lot of money. Why would you not invest in a custom fitting if you're going to spend that amount of money? Get your performance, get your launch really dialed in, work with a PGA Pro, an expert custom fitter who'll be able to get uh, the club head and shaft combination really working to your swing. It really is about getting the most out of your swing with modern technology. So 
new M2 from TaylorMade will be in the shops at the end of January 2017. M2 for TaylorMade in 2016 was a fantastic product. Uh, they really had to push themselves to up the performance. I think they've produced some interesting new performance benefits with the geoacoustic design. So definitely want to put it on your 2017 test list.